What's going on everyone, Model Deer Farmer back with you today and we are going to be doing a model review and today I decided we're going to take a look at the John Deere W260 because we're in July and it is in prime haying season right now so I figured why not do a review on the John Deere W260. Now I will say that this is not the brand new one that Ertl just made this year. This is the little bit older one. I don't have the completely brand new one yet, unfortunately, but this is still a really nice machine and I love the way it looks all the way around. So let's get into it today. The W260 is the larger model of the W series, W200 series um, windrowers that John Deere made. They don't make these, I mean, they're kind of the same now, but they've got a different stripe on them and a little bit different stuff and a different cab, I think. Um, but let's start out with this. We only get one head on the front of this compared to like the New Holland ones. We normally get two. Uh, the John Deere one, we just have one and it's the 500 R. So that's going to be your just normal grass, uh, mower conditioner. Um, and we got kind of the black on the front here, um, with the, like, I don't know what to say, the flaps, um, that kind of keep everything inside the head. Um, then on top, we have lots of um, detail here for bolts and stuff. I love that. We also have the detail on these little parts. I got to be honest, I don't quite know what those are, these parts too. Um, but still looking good. And then this part right here is the drive line for the head coming from the windrower. Now this windrower here, we can take the front off. I don't really know if you would be able to in real life. I don't think you can on the W200s, but I could be wrong. Um, there's not really a reason that you need to take this off, but we do have these little pieces right back here. I, I, I don't really know what to call them. I, I don't do hang stuff in real life, so I'm not sure. Underneath, not really any detail, not that big a deal because you're only ever going to see that. So, I mean, not too big of a deal on that. But then moving on to the main machine itself. Starting here at the front, we do have diamond tread tires, which I really love. Um, I, I was a little bit disappointed that the new New Holland one that I have that the farm show from a couple years ago was cleated tread tires. On windrowers, I just love the look of the diamond tread. So I love the diamond tread on this one. Rubber tires, plastic rims with lots of detail with all the lugs in there. So that's looking great. You have the connector for the head, of course. Um, in real life, I think you'd be able to raise this up and down. Can't on the toy here, but then we have the cab. And the cab is pretty much about the same cab that we get on our S600 and S700 series combines. Um, it, it's pretty much just a combine cab and a chopper cab. Same, uh, same thing. Um, so they kind of all use the same cab for that. Um, the only difference is that the little corner isn't painted green like what they are on the combines of the choppers. But same kind of cab inside. We got the buddy seat and the main seat, the steering wheel that's got detail, um, the little monitor over there that's painted blue, and then some other side arm um, details over there. We have the door handle painted black there. Looking at the top of the cab, we have nice detail with little engravings along there. We have the very oddly tall looking Starfire 3000. It's, it's, it, it kind of looks like a way older one. I don't know why it's like that. It, it seems really tall on this one, but it's supposed to be a Starfire 3000. So there you go. That's that. Um, then we do have, uh, the lights all along there. You get four on each side that are painted. Um, we have the windshield wiper on there, of course. Other side, same front wheel as you'd expect. Got the deer logo on the bottom of the cab. I forgot to point that out. The only difference, this cab has a little bit different bottom compared to the combine versions and the chopper versions for a sharpster one. But it is what it is. Over here we have the ladder. You got a four-step ladder. This part is plastic on there and then goes up to these flat platforms. Not really any stair railings on there unfortunately um, but then we get on back to the main body here the main body looks really good you got 
the vent back here uh, to the engine. You got some doors that are made to look right there. You have the John Deere logo all the way back, W260 on the rear end. Then you have your exhaust pipe and your air intake cleaner, um, air cleaner right there uh, that are plastic. Got some more detail coming here to the back of the machine. I, I don't really know what quite it is, but it, yeah. Then on the back, we have the John Deere logo as well as our taillights and turn signals. So those are painted on there, I believe. Yep. And then we have our sticker of our uh, slow moving vehicle triangle on there. It wasn't placed very straight on this one though, unfortunately. And then moving into the back axle, we have these, these would be like little hydraulic cylinders, I think, that help turn those a little bit, since um, these wheels are your drive wheels and these ones are how you steer. And you can, in real life, they turn really sharp, so you can uh, pretty much turn this thing around on a dime. But of course, in the toy, they don't turn at all, so it's not really gonna work like that, unfortunately, um, but it is what it is. Small rubber tires on there with green plastic rims. And then you got the rest of the axle along there. So it's looking good. Really nice, sweet looking window. We're looking at underneath, we have some screws, but we also have just some other details on the bottom that make it look really nice. Hay goes in there, through there, and then just gets laid out the bottom of the machine, which is why we have a wide stance on this machine. Really good looking windrower though. I don't know. I loved the way that the John Deere W200 series looked. Um, when you get down in the W100 series, those are more the ones where you have uh, like the draper heads and stuff to swath stuff. The more of the swathers, these are more of the windrowers. Um, so, but very nice looking machine. You might still be able to pick some of these up at some John Deere dealers, but this is the older version. The new version is going to start coming around. I think I got this thing for like 11 bucks at the John Deere dealer. Um, so they honestly aren't too bad. So 10 to 15 bucks on these. Try your John Deere dealer, if not third party sites online, as well as um, toy shows and stuff. So just wanted to show you guys this today though since we're getting into hanging season and it's a nice piece of hanging equipment but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a like also consider subscribing to the channel we just hit 2,000 subscribers so uh that really means a lot to me guys but i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any comments or questions or any ideas on what we should review next on the channel leave those down in the comment section below but i hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you all in the next one